Hello, Harry's. Or Aries. Or Aries. Or Aries. 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 Thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay, seems to be no peace, okay, some of you are still struggling, some of you are doing good, a divine feminine is doing good, okay, yeah, some of you are um, still struggling, the devil, uh seven of wands nine of wands the angman queen of swords so some of you are still fighting to survive life take it as it resonates whatever it means for you could be at your workplace could be in your relationship it could be with your landlord some of you are facing it with your landlord actually i see court okay some of you have court with your landlord um some of you your landlord doesn't like you and the fact that your whole rent it's even getting worse okay some of you your landlord is doing spell work so you can move out Or if you hold your landlord, pay your landlord because your landlord is doing heavy spell work. Even if you move, okay, when you get money, pay off the balance, okay? Um, when your landlord doesn't like you, it's best to move out. The reason for this, um, guys, for whoever this resonates with, we all know they always have a key, okay? And... Um, for um, some places they can enter, they just give you like days notice or whatever or um, whatever, wherever you live. It's different for everywhere, so I can't just say, you know. So as I'm saying, they always have a key, right? Just in case, right? So and, and they have access to their property. They can get you out, okay? They can do rituals to get you out. So be very careful, okay, Aries? And as I said, if you owe, even if you move, even if you don't like the person, whether he or she, what they call them? Um, slumlords. <laughs> okay, yeah, even if you don't like your slumlords and you move out, pay. Because when you pay, whatever they were doing to you, especially if you're innocent, it, it, it just won't work. It will just go back to them. That's how you treat somebody that you feel that, um, you know, not because you rent someone your place doesn't give you the right to do spell work and uh, regardless of whatever, okay? Um, as long as you're not a person destroying their property, even if you are destroying their property, they have no right to do spell work and you, but don't destroy um, anything okay just leave everything the way you got it and if if you ruin something fix it back okay because slumlords their spell work okay but if you pay back and you know you um, it, it will not work and I'm just letting you know okay and you have to cleanse that energy off you as well and um, you want to make sure you cleanse your furniture for the new place you're moving. Some of you might just need not to bring anything, any of your furniture, 
they need to burn or just do away like you know get rid of um the lovers yeah so your partner is even telling you the same thing giving you ideas the same thing what i'm saying okay some of you need to buy everything new brand and don't bring nothing from that house because it's like serious evilness the 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 evil is the evil inside the furniture okay it's 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 this is what i'm saying is real you know even as simple as let's say as simple as even this lighter here like if i have it here for years and i put it in and then it, it it can pick up you know entities and you bring it to your next home it's the same problem you're carrying with you so you got to be careful what you're moving out of this house you're facing problem in with your furnitures to the next home some furnitures you definitely have to throw away okay you don't obviously you know some of some some of you don't know it's okay um that's why i'm here to tell you when you move to a new place you don't bring the same broom and the maps you use in the same in the the previous home so you know you don't bring those and you don't even if you own the, the home and you sold it and you you bought another one like you buy another one and you, you're gonna move there you still don't use bring the same room up um, even a vacuum okay vacuum um, you know you even carpet cleaner it's, it's the same kind of thing but you know if i guess you would have to like uh if it's uh, an expensive one and you want to like wash it and um, deal with it different cleanse it like the, the carpet cleaner itself but if you it's better to get a new one but the brew mops and vacuum you, you definitely have to get a new vacuum and okay doesn't matter how expensive you feel they are. That's why if you're a person who, who if you're a person who likes to move, then don't buy expensive things that you know um, you have to throw away when you move again. So, for example, you'll buy the cheaper mops, the cheaper broom, you know. Either way, you're supposed to change them often okay and some of you are just feeling like go like just leave everything and go here <laughs> some of you feel like even throw your clothing everything but that's kind of like a little craziness so it's a, um there's a spiritual warfare that um attack people to get rid of their things sell their furniture sell their their clothing sell their shoes sell their this sell their that some people do that when they don't have money okay that's a, a, a separate spiritual warfare but if you're moving and you know where you are living at the present moment you're going through um a lot of um spiritual warfare or you're under a lot of spiritual attack then already you're prepared you'll be like okay this is what i'm gonna do to cleanse the energy and start over fresh then you know you're not going crazy because you're making a decision to do that but if you just feel like selling doing this doing that with your then that's a spiritual warfare you should not sell your your assets your collateral some people just sell their car everything their home and then they go crazy homeless or what that's that's a different kind of thing but if you're moving and where you're living, been possessed, a lot of entities, sometimes it gets in the furniture, especially if you used to live with someone, uh, um, like for example, your partner and your partner is, uh, like you guys are not together anymore. Sorry. Let's say you guys are not together anymore. I'm getting a lot of downloads. Bear with me. Okay. Let's say you guys are not together anymore. Uh, you guys used to sleep on the same bed and um, use the same uh, the couch and then you move with that thinking oh 
I'm waiting for the perfect divine feminine and the perfect divine masculine on the same bed and in the same couch. Like, I see people do that. I mean, <laughs> you can take your stuff until you can buy more, but it's it will be better to even just not bring them in that place at all, right? But don't ne it's never good to live with someone for years sleeping on the same bed when you break up with that person you should always buy a brand new bed if you can afford it and if you feel so at least no this i'm just saying you don't have to okay it's by track <laughs> it's by choice okay aries it's free will okay i'm just letting you know how to not get contaminated over and over and how to try and at least get rid of some of the negative energy keep it at bay right uh three of wands a divine masculine is very odd working okay someone is trying to stop you a lot of money is owed out to you okay um, someone your partner is cheating take it as it resonates I won't tell you female or male someone is cheating okay someone is not bringing home enough money because they have someone else outside you may not know and possibly not a child too as well okay someone got hit by internet magic okay maybe if um, don't don't go on social media and try to engage too much, especially if it doesn't concern you. Okay, if people take your this and that. They, there's there's a lot of way to um, do magic. A person doesn't have to be in front of you to or beside you and take anything from you to hurt you. Okay, so someone got hit off the internet for playing with someone be careful or maybe you maybe even if you didn't do anything bad but just be careful okay or some maybe if um aries someone was um maybe you had was to check someone something like that a lot of internet spell work is going on so be careful Evil and Chosen Ones and Spiritualists, Ace of Wands, Four of Swords, Two of Coins. The... the Tower. Be careful how you tag yourself. Be careful what you comment and say. Be careful, you... Be careful what you do, okay? Possibly another Aries is trying to set somebody up. If you have a platform and your friend is an Aries or she's trying to... Um, Set you up. I see a female. Okay, be careful. I see another Aries. Okay, trying to take the wheel from you. Your blessings. I'm seeing one person, but I'm seeing like four hands and four, <laughs> four feet. Right, so. Um, yeah, someone is definitely playing in your energy, trying to take what's for you, okay? And maybe, maybe you have, um, an online business and someone is trying to do spell work, okay? This person is an Aries. Queen of Cups. This person has water in their chart, Four of Cups, Okay. This person is very upset in their feelings about what was said or what was done. But this person is fake. Okay. This person is a, is a big backstabber. This person backstabbed their friend, everybody, even their own partner. Okay. Be careful. The moon deception. This person goes around and try to deceive people at all times. For most of their life. They have been doing this all their life. They don't know how to be real. Okay, so you Aries, if you go around this bad Aries, this other Aries that you know, your light affects 
this person's darkness. Because when what happened when you shine light into the dark? You can see. Right? Because you're you're way too powerful for this person to try to overshadow you and make the make you're, you're too powerful for this person's darkness to cover your light. You see the moon? You see how bright it is? Aries. Remember to subscribe, like, and share. Thank you for watching.